everybody, it's Amanda from ScreenPeerMommy.co.uk and um, today I'm going to use this set which is the Cake Soiree set. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've got a wedding theme in mind so I'm thinking perhaps a card and then maybe a table favour or a gift bag. Not quite sure yet but I've got the entire collection here, well most of it. I've got the stamp set which is a two part stamp set and you can... Um, do lots and lots and lots of things here. You've got little toppers, you've got sentiments, you've got cakes and you've got the coordinating thinlet so that will cut out the cake shape. Um, lots of other pretty things. We've got this pretty decorative tag and this little rose here. So I'm going to have a play and I'm going to see what I can come up with and at the moment um, the thinlets are, I got mine free as a celebration item. Um, they're a level 2 celebration item at the moment, so they're worth, they're worth getting because they're, they're very ornate and they're very pretty. Um, and you can use, I'm saying wedding, but it's got birthday as well. Whatever, celebrate, doesn't have to be a wedding. And um, that's just what I've got in my head. And the DSP is absolutely stunning. It's foiled, it's double-sided. The other side's plain, one side's foiled. So I've got a full unopened pack there. And then there is a coordinating card bundle, um, which goes lovely. So I've got the full set, so let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so first of all, I think I might design a card. So first of all, I'm going to cut my card base. I've got no sample. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> So bear with me. Right, so I'm cutting it to four and one eighth by uh, eight and a half. Eight, no, I'm going to cut it to eight and a half and then I, I can remember my sizing easier and my matting and layering easier. Score it at five and three quarters. Okay. And give it a fold. So then my next layer down wants to be, I want some of this silver, but I don't really want to waste it. Um, you know, it's uh, quite an extravagant thing to use. So let me just think. Um, uh, right, okay, I'm going to just cut a one inch strip. Uh, one inch by twelve. Um, and I'm going to cut this to, if that is four and one eighth, so four and one eighth, so I'm going to cut this a quarter of an inch smaller, which is three and seven eighths. Um, let me get it straight. And it was five and three quarters, so I want that to be... Just turn it around that way to make it easy for myself. Five and three quarters, so I want that by five and a half. I'm just trying to cut into the sheet without cutting all the way down. And try and be careful with paper. So let me see. So that now layers on there. Okay. Um, I think I want silver across there, or do I want... Right, okay. So what does that measure again? That measures three and seven eighths. So I'm going to measure that at three and seven eighths. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure this at three and seven eighths. Let's have a look. Three and seven eighths by one and a quarter. So I'll do one and a quarter first and then do it to three and seven eighths. So that should be the same width as my DSP. Yeah, and then that should layer on there like so. And that one was three and seven eighths, so I want it one eighth of an inch smaller, so that's three and um, one, two, three, four, five eighths. <laughs> okay, so that goes on there like so, which I'm happy with that. Let's get those put together. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to put on it. I absolutely adore this berry burst. It is super pretty. Um, I'm not too keen on the green. I'm not very much of a green sort of um, colour person. It's not my initial choice. But because the DSP is double-sided, you know, you're not going to be stuck for one that you do like. 
um, you'd be hard pressed not to find uh, a really beautiful sheet in most um, DSP stacks. Okay, let's get this layered up like so and that is beautiful already or you, you could just literally put a sentiment in the middle of that and it would look beautiful. I'm just going to add a coloured band just to for a bit of interest. Um, I did initially think across the middle but I actually think I'm going to put it lower down. Um, I think I'm going to put it lower down and just have a simple sentiment. Okay. So we'll have it about there. Try and get that straight, like so. And then layer this one on. And then I've only used a little bit of that silver foil paper and it makes it go a long way, but it's just added that little bit of special, hasn't it? Just that little bit of special. I've got that on straight. Straight enough. Not terribly, but never mind. And then what I think I might do. Um, quite like to get my border punch out. I think and add this across the middle. Yeah. I'm getting my ribbon border punch. I can never judge exactly where to punch to start off. I don't think I've quite got it figured out. I think you start somewhere in the middle. I think that's the idea, is you start in the middle and then work your way on to there. And you're just lining that pattern up like so. All the way across, and that'll do for me. That a snip. Give that a snip. And let's have a look. I do like that across there. So let's just. I've mispunched a bit there, but never mind because we're going to add a sentiment. It doesn't matter. Might just be able to just layer that all the way across. There we go. We will do. So I just get some of my glue and what I do is I just put a little bit on somewhere and then I get a piece of sponge from somewhere random probably inked with it but never mind <laughs> and then just dab it on dab your glue on um, it's just that little bit easier okay try not to stick it to your mat and then we'll stick that across the centre like so. Use the dry side of my sponge to push it on with. I like that, I'm happy with that. I'll get rid of that. And now I need my sentiment. Um, I think we'll have just a very simple best wishes, I think. Very simple. And then I think I'm going to die cut one of these roses. That one, I think. I think that'll be super pretty. So, let's get this cut out. Get myself a stamp and then I'll pause and I will come on and I will make a little bag or something to coordinate. So I'll have this in basic grey. Everyday label punch, I think it's called. I don't know, I've forgotten. <laughs> I can never remember its name. I'm going to centralise it quite far on because I'm going to turn it into a little mini banner. And I'm going to do that by holding it there and going back inside my punch, lining it up about there. There we go, made myself a little banner. So I'm going to put that there, I think. 
and then I'm going to go and die cut myself. Come on, glow. I don't want to come out. There we go. Go and die cut myself one of the roses, and then I will be back. Just stick that on there, like so. Right, I'm just going to go and I'm going to die cut this flower here. I will be back in one minute. Okay, so the beautiful rose cuts them like so, which is just divine. And then I have used this one, which cuts different kinds of like leaves and stems to um, add to your benches. So I'm going to get those stuck on and then that is our card finished. So a bit of glue and a sponge and we'll see where I'm going to pop this because I'm not altogether sure. I think I'll just pop it there. Okay. And then we want some of the silver laying behind. Um, and then that's our card done. If we just lift that up slightly and then just have that just protruding to add a bit of depth. I've got a bit of glue on my silver, rub it off, it's fine. There we go. And a bit more on that one. bit of glue on that stem and let's see where we're going to place that one I think I like it down here so if I just lift that up just tuck it under there's just room there like so and then I think I do think it needs something in the middle so let me just grab my embellishments and see what which have gone where They've disappeared, somebody's nicked them. There we go. And let's see what we can just pop it in the middle of there. Um, I just think it needs something. Maybe a pearl. Not sure. Maybe a maybe one of them. Let's have a look. Um no. I don't think it wants one of those. I think a pearl. I think a large pearl. Keep it elegant looking if it's for a, a wedding. So we'll just bob that pearl in the middle of there and that just lifts that flower away from the silver a little bit. And then I'll just add one there as well just for a little bit of add a touch and that is our card. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to make a little bag. So I'll just clear my desk and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to make a little tiny gift bag or table favour um, for a wedding. So I'm using this which matches the card that I've made. So I've cut this to, what have I cut it to? I've just cut it in half randomly. Six inches and I think I'm going to cut it to um, 11 if my brain's working right, which to be honest this week, it's been on holiday as my brain. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to score on the bottom, uh, let me think. So on the bottom here, I want to make it into like a little bag box. So I want to score it about one and a half, I think should be all right. So if I score that at one and a half, and then if I go, Two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. I think that's right. Yep, okay. So, this is just something really quick and easy. Um, you know, I'd probably be making this as I'm getting dressed to go to the wedding because <laughs> that's what I'm like. I'm always late for everything last minute minute so I'm cutting the small bottom section out and I've just notched it and then each of these score lines instead of cutting on the score line I'm just going to slightly notch up to the center so I'm just cutting it like a little triangle out 
um, only slightly. Okay. Uh, and this you'll have seen this done a million times. It's a really quick and easy little box bag. Nothing major. Um, just coming up with a little idea for you to try. Uh, matching card and matching little box or favour gift and it doesn't have to be for a wedding I mean it says best wishes to me this looks like a wedding cake it could be a birthday cake it could be a christening it could be anything a special birthday they have cakes for that and um, they have cakes for everything um, communions absolutely everything um, let me just I'm just going to notch this side flaps in so they don't protrude. I probably could have cut that slightly shorter if I wanted. Never mind. Um, let's have a look. Um, I'm just thinking ahead. I wish we had some silver pegs. I know we've got gold ones. I don't think I've got a silver one lying about anywhere. No, I haven't. Hmm, never mind. Okay, so we want to construct our box. So first of all, I'm going to fold the flap, the side flap over. If I can get the tape off here, anyway. There we go. And there we go. Oh, come on. I need to grow my nails again. I had lovely long nails and I cut them all off because I was struggling with my crafting. Um, and now I think my hands look ugly, so I'm going to have to grow them again. <laughs> and then you should be able to just fold that flat and it should line up perfect. But double check because it doesn't always quite work that way, but there we go. Okay, so now I just need to fold my flaps in. So for the speed of the video, I'm just going to glue one flap. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna glue the one stick the one fold the rest in and just stick the top one on uh, you know this um, would be lovely um, I'm erming uh, as a table fair with sweets in you could put anything in here anything and then all you do is you grab it together you've seen it done a million times and you squish the top like so and you've got yourself a little box, just give them sides a bit of a, a helping hand. Give it a bit of a squish. And there you go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you see, I would like that on, but it's gold. And I want silver, it doesn't match. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Stuck now. Come on, stamping up. We need some silver clips. Tell you what we'll do. We'll punch two little holes. Um, you can use any old stamp punch, uh, hole punch, not stamp punch. I'm just choosing to use this one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to line my box up nicely and put a one hole there. And I'm totally doing this by eye, so if it's wonka, it's wonka. I'm just giving you the idea. Okay, and then I'm going to get some of this lovely seam binding. Crinkle seam binding, this is berry burst as well. To keep it nice and coordinated. If it's for a gift, you want it to look nice, don't you? So I'm just going to cut myself some. And then struggle for 10 minutes getting it through Earl's. No, it's going to get through real easy and it's going to be good. I filled this with goodies. It's got a really expensive gift in. Or, you know, your sugar diamonds on your wedding table. Or, <laughs> uh, you know, a big roll-up of £10 notes for somebody's gift. <laughs> Bridesmaid gifts, put a little bracelet in. Loads and loads of things that you can do with this. It's beautiful, beautiful paper. And you know we are going to be coming up to wedding season, our bridezillas will be out, <laughs> they'll all be out, watch out, stay away from them, the nutters. <laughs> I want a bridezilla, I was really good. <laughs> oh dear. 
just tie that in a little knot like so tighten another knot to keep it fastened don't forget we're pretending it's got loads of goodies in there's loads of room there for something nice um, inside plenty of room and let me try and tie that in a nice bow although the crinkle seam binding is very forgiving it's meant to look a little bit tatty and a little bit um, you know not perfect because it's crinkle seam binding so all I need to do now is I need to just trim that edge where I've frayed it when I've cut it I think my scissors need sharpening and then we've got that lovely crinkler bow there okay I'll probably mess about with that before I take my pictures and then what I did do was I um, used this lovely die which is part of the collection and it cuts out this lovely tag with the fancy bottom so I'm going to use that and I'm going to stamp on there I think we'll use this for you I think yeah so let's have that out get myself a little block uh, just thinking what colour I want it in because I've stamped the card in grey I don't know if I want that in grey or if I want it in I'm not sure that's straight, let me just line it up on my grid block first, on my grid paper um, I'm not sure I have one another one of, the, of another colour so I might just layer them up um, I don't have one of those little dye brushes that gets the little fiddly bits out <laughs> oh dear, so I use my pokey towel Okay, so can we just lay those up now? Um, don't know. Yeah, I think we can. Just lay them up. I haven't got all of the bits out. I haven't got time. <laughs> what I should have done was, because the coloured cardstock is slightly thicker than the Whisper White, I should have put myself a little card shim on the top just to make sure that all of those little pieces there got caught because my plates are like bananas so it doesn't catch them all okay so it's not a problem so I'm going to layer it like that so let me just I'll do my stamping first actually let's move that out of the way and I will do I'll do I'll do it so it matches and I'll have the for you let me just practice it I'm going to have the for you down there, like that, and then I'm going to get one of these roses, I think. I think I'll have the small rose, and this is the full one. Um, the other one that I used is the outline. This is a full one. Let me just get a black, take that off. Excuse my messy desk. <laughs> There you go, we're tidy again. Okay, put that on there. We're going to use Berry Burst and we're going to put a pretty flower on this tag. Let me give that a... I think my... I think my ink pad needs... Uh, needs re-inking. Uh, so I'll stamp that there like that. There we go, that's pretty firm. Pretty, is that? I like that. Uh, do I want another one? No, no. No doubt. So then I'm just going to layer them two tags up. A bit of glue on that. Line up the hole and then just offset them slightly. And then you've got the the two colours showing. Get the hole in right. Okay. And then you would attach that with string or something. Uh, do I have any to hand? No, I don't. Because <laughs> I'm just not organised, am I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to improvise. And I'm going to just stick it on with a dimensional. And I'm going to put it up near the top, near where the ribbon is, to make it look like it's tied on when it isn't. 
Okay, so like that. There we go. Fake it till you make it. So there you go, there's my little gift box and there is my matching card. I hope you like that. I hope you'll give this um, sweet a little bit of a nose in the catalogue because I think that the possibilities really are endless. Thanks for watching. Sorry for taking ages. <laughs> Bye for now.